Alrighty, so we have a construction update from today. Um, when I first flew, I was like, oh, there's not too much to report on, but then I noticed a few things, so we'll go over that. Um, there's nothing new in the storage shed, but I'm assuming, based off of typical um, deliveries, that we'll see a track shipment tonight. Um, so we're looking for two more pieces for the left hill, and I have a feeling that we'll get one or two of those all tonight, because they sometimes come in groups of two. Um, other than that, not too much else going in the um, storage shed, just got some awesome shots. I do want to let you guys know that Amusement Insiders is going to get an up close and personal tour of the construction site next week after the lift hill is complete. So we are waiting for a little more to be shown before we do our construction update because we've already shown you guys everything that is in there in person, up close. Um, before so we wanted to wait um, and uh, for there to be more and the park wanted there to be more too before we show you some things so that'll be exciting so expect that next week uh, probably midweek we'll have our construction tour Wednesday Thursday or Friday um, and yeah so we'll get a lot of great footage we'll get some interviews in order um, and I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Canada's Wonderland for inviting us to that and organizing that for us that was super generous um, and I've never been or done anything like this, so um, you can only imagine how excited I am because I've been reporting on this project for literally almost a year now. I think we're at like eight or ten, eight to ten months. I started back in like end of October, so yeah, we're at like 10, 11 months. 10 months. Let's just say 10 months. So that'd be super exciting. So as you can see, the big yellow crane is set up um, and ready to go, so I don't know if they're going to install that first lift hill piece by the time I left. Um, so when I go up and fly tomorrow, it'll be up there. And again, the lift hill will go up pretty quick after that. So by the time we have our construction tour next week, we'll have some awesome shots of the lift hill. Um, as you can see off there in the distance, the forest is going. It is half gone. So the forest has literally been um, <laughs> decimated. So as you can see, half the forest is gone where that weird like return, like inclined Immelman loop um, we'll go as it's returned back to the station and then you can see the crane is literally where the zero G roll will be the zero G roll again will be just where that yellow beam is for the yellow crane. Um, so super exciting. Definitely some things picking up. I mean, they wasted no time. The water park closed for the season. The pathway will definitely be closed. So for anyone wondering, will they keep that pathway open? The answer is obviously no. Um, but yes, can't wait for next week to get you some up close personal shots of that. Um, not much else to report on in terms of what's going on in the construction site. Again, we already know what's going on with the whole station area, so not too much exciting things to report on right now, but I can't wait for next week. It's going to be so thrilling, um, and I really want you guys to get you all the, like, awesome nerd shots we've been getting up close and personal. So if you have any suggestions, comment down below what you really want me to focus on when I'm filming next week, and also what questions would you like me to ask the park officials next week when we go hang out with them for an in-depth construction tour? Comment down below those two things. I really want to hear, hear from you guys because... Honestly, what I do now is for you because I really appreciate you guys coming and watching every day of these construction updates. It's been awesome and connecting with you guys at the park. So whatever you guys want me to ask, comment down below and I will try and fit them into a interview uh, with the park next week. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy the remainder of the footage. Um, I go a little higher. I go left, right. Oh, I forgot this part. Thank God I was still talking. So, um, so a couple of you were asking about the hotel. So that little grass area back there where you see the cars entering the highway, that's where the hotel is going to go. So the hotel is going to be it consists of 200 and something rooms. I forget the exact number. It's going to have a new gate into the park. So they're going to move the gate back, the one that they lock for the season once winter comes. And it's going to have a lot of shrubbery, trees, there's going to be lots of parking. So that area is actually going to look a lot nicer than it currently is. So again, it'll fit back in that little circular, bigger portion of the grassland over there just behind the houses. That's the driveway as you enter into Canada's Wonderland, as you can see. And um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. As you can see, construction going on in the forest. Um, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the remainder of the video. There's a couple more shots. And then I just forgot something else. They've already rented out the back portion of the parking lot back there, as you just saw. Um, they have it fenced it off, fenced off, and uh, that's how where they rent car um, space for car companies to store excess cars, and that's how you know Cedar Fair makes a bit of extra cash in the off season. But other than that, not too much else to talk about. So hopefully you enjoyed this footage. Uh, have a good one, guys. Bye.